Your shows you how you can use poker planners uh, as sit and go seater on poker stars. Okay. First, you need to find your um, player notes file. You do this by uh, choosing player notes, going to this dialog and the file location. This path your file will be located. You assign it here. And in this moment already these labels are imported. These are the default labels. You can add your own uh, labels. Um, create a new, is mine. Assign a color. Okay. Close this dialog and refresh this list and the new is I just created is here. Uh, the color gene um, is used to score uh, sit and go games. The rules are listed here, you can read while I uh, go on. Uh, when I start, uh, you can start um, scanning by pressing the button run. First, you have to allow po uh, Poker Planner to access uh, Poker Stars. You do this on this tab and install. Return to this page and start over again. Yeah. I should mention uh, the default uh, setup is this. And when you start uh, scanning, uh, you will be uh, getting an error. This is because I need the game ID to identify the game. So you have to add this column to the columns uh, and now you can scan. And you should also use a filter to reduce the number of games listed. Uh, in this case I only play uh, min buy -in and uh, only one table uh, sit and goes and only dollar tables and only the turbo tables um, and I am also interested in uh, the games I can register and now this should be smaller it's not but because I should uh, filter the number of uh, tables in yes, this case okay but for uh, I need to show you the uh, how to color the tables uh, I stop this for the moment and um, assign labels to those two uh, players by adding them here this one is uh, I assigned to uh, the yellow uh, label which for me is should be a fish fish air gets uh, big numbers and try gets small numbers the other player I <coughs> it's uh, a chike so I choose it to a different label reload this and run and scan so you see on these two tables uh, this is a yellow labeled player and on these uh, two are the uh, green colored uh, player. Now I uh, reduce the list again to at least four enrolled uh, or registered uh, players. So n uh, next thing to do is define the min table score you want uh, to play on. In this case, uh, zero because uh, I have 
only these two labels, uh, and only two players uh, colored. And um, if I put a higher number here, I wouldn't register to any game. So zero is the uh, base. Uh, you can also define how much uh, games you want to play at the same time and in this case two and uh, I want to play at a maximum uh, three games in this session when I enter three I will be start registered You see, uh, I one is running. I, I started one game, and I am registered to one again, one more. And I uh, will wait uh, for the next registration until uh, the number of games I want to play at the same time uh, is lower than the two I defined. And at the moment, I have two. One I already playing on and one I'm registered to. So now the second table is open and uh, now I will play until one of the games did end. Of course I don't, won't play this <laughs> very long here because I want to show how it works. So I go all in on this table and hope hopefully don't get the three. Oh, come on. Mm. Everybody's sleeping. Okay. I sent. Okay, I finished this game, closed it, and uh, I'm registered to one more. Yeah. So now I uh, have played, or I'm playing two games. I have one running and one already finished, as you saw. And I re was registered to one more, so in the sum it's three games. So I will go all in this table too. And no, 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 I will wait until this uh, comes up. And then, ah, okay, now I can go all in. Here's three, three games finished, and here all in. Hopefully one caller and I no no okay I won't uh, I think uh, you saw everything uh, which is needed for the first steps. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.